How to find a lost hamster? Your hamster has escaped. I know that feeling, my little hamsters have escaped more than once. I was really worried that they hadn't been captured by my dogs. In this video, I am going to share with you my tips for catching your hamster escape artist. Subscribe for more great videos if you love hamsters. First. Your hamster could be anywhere. Establish where your hamster has escaped and which area of your house your hamster may be in. Not knowing which room your hamster is in makes it harder to catch your hamster. If your hamster escaped at night when you were asleep, and all the internal doors are open. Your hamster could be anywhere. The first time my hamsters escaped it took us a couple of days before we had any idea where they were. We had such a fright when one of them dashed out from under the sofa while we were watching TV. Last time that we caught movement from the same area was when a huge spider ran across the floor. Made my sister scream. So funny. Okay back to catching your hamster. You will need a couple of food dishes. Place in the dishes with a couple of hamster food treats. Select bigger pieces of food so you know how many is in each dish. Place these around the areas that you think your hamster might be and check back every couple hours. One dish with less food in it that means your hamster is in that certain area or room. Close any doors so that the hamster is confined to that room. Commence a gentle search party in that room. Careful when you move furniture or anything big and heavy as you do not want to squash your hamster. Hamsters will feel vulnerable out in the open so will seek dark corners or cozy places. Another good tip is to look for your hamster at night. This is the best time to be looking for hamsters as they are nocturnal and they're going to be active at night or early evening. Another tip is to listen. Sitting very very still and listening, you may hear scratching and shuffling and any other noises a hamster makes such as eating. If you can hear your hamster then you may be able to locate it, corner it and catch it. If not, try these two different methods. The first is the cage method. Using a small cage that has some type of unlatching door. Place the cage on the floor with the door open where they can crawl into and get to some food. Make sure the cage has bedding and water as well as the food. Smear a thin layer of peanut butter on the rungs of the door. When your hamster smells the peanut butter your hamster will climb up the doorway and go into the cage. Most likely your hamster will stay the night in the cage because it is a safe, comfy place. The next method is the bucket trap method. Take a large bucket or box, something that they wouldn't be able to crawl back out of. Using some books or really anything that you can to make steps. Make steps leading up to the bucket. At the bottom of the bucket put a blanket or a large pile of hamster bedding. Some food leading up the steps. Make sure you remove the bowls of food you have around the house that you used to locate your hamster. Hopefully, your hamster will climb up the steps. And then fall into the bucket and then not be able to get back out. I leave the top book open with food on the open cover over the bucket. When your hamster reaches out for the food your hamster will topple into the bucket, landing on the blanket or bedding. Make sure you secure the cage after you've found your lost hamster. Identify how your hamster escaped. My little ones escaped the first time because I had not shut their door securely after feeding them. The next time they escaped by climbing over their hamster toys. And reaching the edge of their glass tank and dropped off the edge to the floor. We do not want your hamster to escape again. If your hamster lives in a tank make sure that toys and boxes are not too high near the edge of your tank. I recommend you have a wire mesh lid on any hamster tank. If you have a wire cage make sure your hamster cannot undo the door by themselves. Or that your hamster can escape by squeezing through the bars. This can happen if you have a small hamster in a cage that is not suitable for hamsters. These two methods I have used to catch my escapees. However, the best way is to listen, and move in slowly on the sound and gently grab them when they appear. I use the bucket trap or cage method if I am unsuccessful before I have to get to bed. Remember if you have other pets such as a cat or dog to keep them. Away from the room you suspect your hamster to be in. I would love to hear from you if you have any other tips or techniques for catching an escaping hamster. Please put your ideas in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now so you don't miss out. More great hamster videos full of tips and advice on caring for your cute hamster.